Okay, so, Big Frank, he's just had the red painted. As I said, it'll never be a show vehicle, so I'm not even kidding myself there. Um, did the exhaust, which I'm still very happy with. Nice, short, loud exhaust. Homemade baffles. Quite happy with that. Bit of leakage, might have to sort that out, but not necessary to the next MOT, so you won't worry too much about that. Um, the latest one is the state of these and the fixing down here, I've never been impressed with that. The only thing I was really impressed with this was the actual mudguard itself. I was quite, um, quite pleased with that. It's, uh, it's a very good uh, amateur like me. So these need redoing and I need to redo the ends. So that's the old scrabbly piece of crap. And that's the new one. Obviously needs cutting down to a similar size, but I'll also bring it round, see where this one finishes here, on this lip here, bring it round so it incorporates that, I think. So I haven't got that messy finish. Um, new bracket for the Speedo, and obviously polish it right up and re lacquer it. Um, but there's loads of pit marks in that. So I'm, I'm glad it's that mess because if it wasn't that, it would have been the fork, and then that would be really shitty because I'd need new forks. So it done its job, it was to protect the fork, and it did that just needs redoing completely as you can see I've cut off the front of this one so I'll use that the bit that I've cut off that's on the bench as a stencil um, but this side the fork is actually weeping so I mean another video for you first time I've ever fixed a fork seal or fork seals because obviously there's no point just doing one just do both of them pair them up um, so that needs doing then I need to sort something out with these indicators. As you can see, this one is cracking and the other one is completely falling off. So that needs doing. Um, I think I've got to redo the whole of this. And again, this is all rusting up as well. So that needs redoing and relacquering. So it's back to the drawing board really. So unfortunately, Big Frank is gonna be off the road for a little while. I mean, look at the state of this. Completely rusted up. So that one he's doing. Oh, and the light's coming away. Because of the rust underneath. So that's no good. So that all needs redoing. The tank is, again, cracking, peeling. Um, that's got to be my jeans that are rubbing on that. We're just taking the lacquer off. Um, so, Big Frank needs a lot of work. So the start of that is doing this front mud guard and ordering the fork seals, I think. So as I say, I'm gonna crack on with putting the new brackets on, these bottom brackets. That one wants, again, cutting off and new one making. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. So that's where I'm at. You can see I'm not a fabricator and hopefully my welding and grinding will clean, <laughs> clean that up and it's going to sit on there. So the next step is to get the welder out. The next one will be better. <laughs> so that's, that's the porridge. Once grinding back, I've built up these bits as well so I can grind them back, make it a bit of a, a bit more of a fluid transition um, these bits have got to go in a bit more because there's still a slight hit on the forks um, and there's the design process yeah new light bracket uh, don't know gonna <laughs> there's not much to tell from that but yeah gonna leave it on then and see about it um, ultimately it'll be the two projector lights that I've got already these two here which will be pretty much where they are a bit further up but instead of all this 
bracket bracketry here. Um, it'll be a clean steel line round there, um, which will connect down here onto a plate, which the two outside projector lights will then be bolted to. So you'll have the two there and the two underneath here, which will probably neaten it up. Plus, you'll be able to see a lot more of the forks, which, well, I don't know about a lot more. You'll be able to see more of the forks because obviously this gets in the way of that. So it'll bring them to here, sort of inside that. But um, yeah, you get the you get the fucking picture, don't you? Yeah, ultimately it'd be uh, a lot cleaner. You get the, the two lines of the forks coming down um, and then I can figure out indicators from there rather than just doing what I normally do and rushing and buying something, throwing it on there and not liking it. So, yeah. So there you go. That's as far as I've got today. And that's... Uh, he looks for his phone, finds his phone. Six o'clock. Half four, half five, two and a half hours to do that bit of cardboard and make that and weld that. And as I keep saying, I'm just an amateur. But that will definitely look better once I've cut. I mean, all this has got to be cut off, obviously, um, just so it boxes in this lower lower bracket. Well, it's this, the one this side. So it'll be this lower bracket. So it'll come down and house that with a bolt through instead of the abortion where is it the abortion that was on it before yuck no right there you go we'll see how it goes yeah i haven't got a clue how i'm going to do that or achieve that but um got a couple of ideas we'll see how it goes anyway ride safe so, Big Frank is poorly, not engine-wise, it's beautiful engine-wise, but um, we've got a leaking fork seal here, so I'm going to get the kit, the fork seal kits, and change the seals and the oil in both of them, because since I've had it, the oil hasn't been changed, and I dare say the last geezer didn't do it either, so um, it's probably well overdue. The front mud guard's off because that's a mess. Needs a lot of building up. Um, new bits welded on the front or porridged on the front. That's work in progress. A lot more grinding to do, obviously. Got to cut it back and shape it and blah, blah, blah. blah. Um, rad's still looking good. That's held up quite well, actually. I thought that would be rather pitted by now, but that's fine. Exhaust is still looking good. Homemade baffles still working, a bit of leakage, so might put some of that um, flame gum. Where have I put that? There, fire gum. Holtz fire gum on it to stop it leaking. Um, and then the side panel's got to redesign them because to get the tank off or even to hinge it up, as you can see, it's so close. Um, I've got to take all them off and to take them off I've got to drop the mud guard and all the electrics underneath and then I can get the bolts for this and then take them off to take the tank off so it's a massive palaver never thought about that never even entered into my head while I was designing them so they all need redoing don't like how much these stick out so they've got to come off um, new design for the integrated indicator and side light because during the day you can't see that so that's a waste of a feature I think um, so I need to design something different with that and the tank the tank is in need of a better shine up so well that, that looks quite good actually big frank with a, like a bullet wound you see it 
Looks alright, doesn't it? Um, so the tank wants taking back and doing as well. Whether that's this year, I don't know, because I'll get so far with it and then I'll hate the fact it's off the road and I'll need to put it back on the road. So it'd be one of them rush jobs, wouldn't it? <laughs> like I normally do. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the work in progress. So Frank's off the road for a while, unfortunately, but can't be helped. It always was going to be an ongoing project, and it always, he always was going to be um, my ongoing project, not a showpiece. Um, and I've enjoyed myself, you know, it's, it's peeing hard outside, or was, I don't know what it's like now. Um, let's put some light on the subject. No, it's just gloomy. Um, it was peeing hard. So I've come out here for two and a half hours and I've enjoyed myself. Messed about with welding, not something I do very often, <laughs> as you can see, um, but I had to play with that. And um, yeah, and as I say, that's designing process. New light bracket, we'll see how that goes. Um, so yeah, moving sideways. Obviously not moving forwards because he was already on the road, but um, he needs cleaning up. So he's going to get it. I don't know whether I should polish that up and actually take it to someone a bit more professional than me and get it lacquered. I might protect it better than this. I, mean, I don't know what I'm going to do with the front mudguard. Obviously the front's taking it, but these side panels, they are ruined. You can feel how, how pitted they are. Which is good, because if it wasn't for them, the whole fork there would be um, pitted and knackered. It's got a bit of bubbling down the bottom, but that's just surface, that cleans straight up. Um, but yeah, they would be pretty knackered if they weren't protected, I think. Um, partly down to me, because obviously I ride it in all weathers. Well, I say that. I don't ride it when it's raining, but I have ridden it like this winter when it's been really shitty on the roads. So I only got myself to blame. I just can't have him sitting here. It's such a fun bike to ride. Anyway, that's the update. Ride safe and um, you'll get more updates as and when. <laughs>